Today I'm starting off the video with a spring refresh of our dining room. I have been eyeing washable rugs since our other rugs are so hard to clean with the endless dog fur and dirt that gets trapped. And I did fall in love with the Bridgerton collection that Ruggable has. I purchased the Lady Whistle Down rug and it has a soft pink floral design I thought would work perfectly to brighten up the space. The rug pad is velcro on top and rubber on the bottom and the rug itself is thin and the bottom fabric clings to the rug pad. It did take me a couple tries to align the rug with the pad and get all the air bubbles out but once the rug was on I could tell I didn't have to worry about it shifting and moving out of place. The dogs were so excited for the rug, so before I moved the dining table back, I let them hang out and just enjoy the rug. I could literally watch them all day enjoying this rug. So later I tried to adjust the rug so it could be centered better, uh, but they were pretty adamant on me leaving it where it was. Uh, she definitely shook her head at me and I couldn't say no to that, so I let them hang out a bit longer. After a few tries, they did let me bribe them with a snack and I was able to adjust the rug and pull the dining table back. So it's been about a week since I've had the rug and so far I'm actually loving it. I already had some dirt tracked on it and we were able to spot clean it and vacuum it easily. So, so far so good. For the curtains on this window, I wanted to make sure we could open the shades and still have privacy, but still get light in during the day. So I added a set of lace curtains and layered on top a set of linen curtains. I got the lace curtains off of Amazon and the linen curtains from Etsy. And I wanted a romantic look so I tied the top curtain off to the side so it had a more drapey, billowy look. The last touch was the vase that I filled with tulips, ranunculus, and hyacinths. And just a few decor pieces really refreshed our dining room and made it feel a lot brighter. And I did want to bring you along shopping with me. I visited two estate sales and a thrift store. This first estate sale was appointment only and this was the first time I have ever done an appointment only sale. When I had made the appointment there wasn't too many things in the photos but the estate sale organizer let me know they were still going through boxes and setting things out. So I didn't have a specific item of interest when I went. I just really wanted to browse around and a part of me really just wanted to see the house. It was at a beautiful craftsman, it was a huge craftsman home, and I was pleasantly surprised that the house was full of antiques, furniture, and vintage clothing. So sometimes you really can't rely on the photos, you just have to take a chance. And if you are interested in ever doing an appointment only estate sale, but you haven't tried it yet, I would definitely encourage you try it out because I had an amazing time. I came during my time slot I booked and I had the entire home to myself and it was such a nice experience to take my time. Uh, I didn't end up purchasing too many things, but they definitely had a lot of treasures. this table lamp it's a gorgeous piece it was listed for about two hundred dollars
just left the first estate sale so I want to do a little haul um, to show you just a few things that I did get I didn't get too many things um, before we head on to the next one I'm taking a little break I'm gonna get some coffee and then we'll head to the next one uh, but the first thing I got is this Longenberger basket it's just a small little cute basket I'm using it for decor and putting like little knickknacks in it and I got that for $10 I got this pinafore dress, it's handmade. Uh, I got this for $5 and the sides have ties. It's adjustable. So I just need to wear like an undershirt and I thought it'd be really cute to wear, you know, doing stuff around the house, working in the garden, things like that. Uh, they did have a lot of vintage clothes and those name brand ones um, with the tags, those went for about like hundred dollars and then I got three blankets so they were each uh, three dollars a piece so two of them are hand knitted look how pretty this is I just thought it would be really pretty for spring to put on our couches um, and this is the other hand knit one it's really pretty and the cool thing about this one is one of the squares has the date it was knitted so this one says 1983 uh, and then the last blanket the last blanket I got is not handmade but I fell in love with the little cats on here um, here let me turn it this way so there's just a ton of cats on here it's just very very cute <laughs> So I got a few books too and those were like two to three dollars a piece uh, so I think I spent about thirty dollars in total um, and then right now I'm gonna get some coffee and then we'll go ahead out to the next estate sale that one's a little farther out um, but they do have a lot of light fixtures a lot of lamps and I'm looking for something to put in the laundry room so hopefully I can find something um, and it'll be really fun to look around because it looks like a lot of like very high-end things <laughs> so um, we will go ahead out that way and then uh, see what we can find the next estate sale that I went to, I specifically visited to find a lamp and it did not disappoint. The house was definitely full of high-end items and a ton of light fixtures. And there were table lamps and floor lamps in designs I've never seen and it was so fun to see them. Uh, I did find a lamp and that one ended up being $50 everything that day was 25% off it was the second day but I had a lot of fun walking through seeing all the art and um, high-end items And my last stop was Savers. I found this really cute dress. I went through all the clothes racks and then headed for the home goods. And they had some holiday items still left out, um, some spring items. This piece was really pretty. I think it's missing like a teapot or like a coffee pot that's supposed to go on. Um, and there was a lot of really pretty cottage style 
dishware and it took a lot for me not to buy any of them. I have a lot of plates and I love these designs. So I just got back from the thrift store and the estate sales, so I wanted to show you what I got. Uh, so from the thrift store, I did pick up this Madewell dress and I really liked the puff sleeves and it just looks really cute. I thought it would be perfect just right now during spring and then in summertime and probably transitioning into fall as well. So got that and then that was about, I think it was $11.99. And then I got this really pretty mirror. So it's kind of on the smaller side, but um, I thought I could use it in our restroom. So if I hang it with like a wire and um, hide the wire with like a velvet ribbon and put like a tied ribbon at the top to make it look like it's hanging from there. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, <laughs> but that's my idea for this mirror. It does. I don't know what kind of material this is. It's not wood. It's like a... It's not... It might be resin. I have no idea. It's kind of heavy, uh, but I do need to fix the paint job on this. It's like a weird paint color right now. It's like two different colors that were like mixed together. I have no idea. And it does have a chip at the bottom. So I'm thinking I can try to fix that and put it in our restroom and hang it. That's my idea for that. And then I want to take you into our laundry room. I just put the lamp that I got from the state cell in there. So let's go check it out. I'm so excited. It's so it just changes the look in here like it makes it warmer it's just so I'm so excited <laughs> it's perfect so we're gonna have a countertop right here and then um, that's what the lamp will be sitting on and the countertop is gonna be like a darker color um, and then we need to finish putting up the wallpaper and all the other pretty little things so that is gonna have be a lot of fun and we are definitely going to be doing that in the next video. I'm excited. I hope you're excited, but I'm excited. <laughs> and let me bring you a little closer so you can see the way the lamp looks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you had fun coming along, decorating our dining room and going shopping with me. I really hope you join me next time to finish up our laundry room makeover.